caution, parents, if you're watching this. I don't know why I should like put a disclaimer for you guys, but I don't know. Just it's just fine, okay? Okay. I'm just trying to help the people of the world. Okay. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. It's me, Lynn, your favorite Danish Filipina girl. And for today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to widen your bikini area for less than 200 pesos. And if you're interested in that, then keep on watching. A few disclaimers before I start with the video. I am not at all a professional whatsoever. I'm not a professional at anything. I am also sharing this with you guys because it worked for me. I'm not saying that since it worked for me, I'm 100% sure it's gonna work for you. I'm not saying that. I'm saying that I just want to share my experience with you guys and how it worked for me and hopefully it will work for you too. So uh, yeah. Okay, another disclaimer. I'm not saying that uh, this coloration is bad. I'm not saying that uh, everyone should have a white bikini area. I'm not saying, I'm not shaming anyone. I'm just, I'm just sharing my experience and uh, if you want to widen it then widen it if you don't no one's pushing you just rock whatever you have and yeah that's basically it <laughs> there are times there are tendencies wherein you get um darker pigmentation um on your bikini area or your intimate area um it could be because of a lot of factors it could be um from shaving from genetics it could be anything actually um but in my case specifically um it came from shaving because if you shave your hair down there um it could cause discoloration which happened to me so um i stopped doing that because it does make your area kind of dark and i in my opinion i don't want that uh, my preference i do not want that so I try to figure out ways or try to figure out how to get it brighter, how to whiten it, and I stumbled upon these products. So the products that worked for me is this Lactacid White Intimate Whitening Daily Feminine Wash and also this Kojisan Skin Lightening Soap. I'm gonna explain along the way, but I think I should explain the ingredients and all the chemicals and everything first but i'm not gonna explain it because you know i'm not that person but my sister will explain it so i'm gonna call her like really quick also, did you uh -oh. Wait, Pa, let's go. Wait. no one cares i care okay I'm not gonna show you guys the before and after because that's weird just tr just trust my word because i won't share with you guys things that supposedly work but don't really work so helena so again, if you haven't seen my prior video on the underarm video, this is my sister. Um, I introduced her there. Also, you guys are asking for an update on that video. I haven't made it yet because I got distracted. So bear with me. I'm going to try to do it soon. Anyways, yeah, this is my sister. She is taking up um, pharmacy in La Salle HSI. So she knows a thing or two about ingredients of products and everything in between. So, yeah. So, diba, I before I told you that this works on me. Mm -hmm. I told her that this worked when I used it to whiten my bikini area. So explain how that works. Wait. Analyze it. whitening lang dito is kojic acid. And I'm not sure if tea tree oil is whitening. I don't think that's whitening. I think that's more on the like the pimples. Yeah. But um, parang major ingredient nagka whiten is kojic acid. The rest are just for like moisturization, sa soap making. But kojic acid yung main. Okay. So for this koji sand skin lightening soap, the main ingredient that whitens. Or brightens your skin is the kojic acid found in the soap. Right? No. Yeah, so basically that's it for the soap and this one. Lactic acid also brightens your area. I'm not sure. 
classmates if you're watching. <laughs> Comment down below. <laughs> Comment down below. <laughs> Tinan nyo nga, para saan to? Baka hindi ko lang maalala eh. Inaaral ko to today, ay yesterday, citric acid. What is citric acid? It's a plant acid. Na? It's derived from citrus fruits. So basically, what are the widening agents Dito? in the ingredients? Yeah. Lactic is brightening. Iba ang brightening sa whitening. Diba? Oh, really? Ang alam ko, parang... So is brightening more like um, fresh? Ganon. Siguro. Parang mas... But it's weird because it's intertwined. <laughs> no, because brightening. Because when I t- when I used to take my pills, my skin was like brighter. I wasn't whiter though, but like I looked healthier, and uh, my glow is different now, according to other people, not according to me. Because the alam ko acids na like nakaka not whiten but nakaka bright ng mukha or whatever is salicylic is to clear up salicylic. But glycolic is to brighten. Yun yung sa mga vitamin C serum eh. Mm. Tapos yung lactic. Yun yung parang brightening at the same time moisturizing yata. I'm not sure. Wala akong... She wala, has a disclaimer every time. I'm not sure. Yun yung alam ko. Basta pag acid usually pampa exfoliate siya in some way. To different levels lang. Parang different degrees lang. Mm-hmm. So since meron siyang citric acid, meron siyang lactic acid. Lactacid. Lactic acid. Okay. Oh. Is the lactic acid for? Let's google it. I don't have my phone. Bright and smooth. Tama. Even skin while also making it look firmer. Oh. Firmer. <laughs> Loosening the bonds between the dead skin cells. Sabi sa yun eh, pag like acid, usually it has some degree of exfoliation ability. Exfoliation it, what happens if you exfoliate, de ba? New skin yon. Dead skin. Tatong dead skin. Yeah, so it makes sense na you could use that to whiten your area. Oh, because na mawala yung dead skin cells, which could also be the dark skin. Oh, because when you have pigmentation it means nagkaroon ng build up sa skin mo ng dead skin so that's why it's dark mm. Mm. pero like it depends rin kasi kung hindi naman kasi yung isang scrub mat lang tanggal lang mm. diba there are ingredients present in the products that could potentially whiten um, your skin your area so it just makes sense why it worked for me and yeah Lactic acid, lactacid. I cracked the code. My thanks. Since we're done with the scientific, chemical, everything um, part of things, I'm gonna talk about my procedure, how I did it, like when did I did it, how often did I do it, where did I put it, that stuff. So, okay. Whenever I cleanse my area, um, I use this. And I focus mainly on... I need open-minded people here, okay? Okay, imagine it. Imagine it. It goes like this. And then it goes like that. So here, I focus here. Because most of the pigmentation is typically here and here. So, you focus here. Put the soap there. It's like mainly focus it there. I mean, when washing, typically... You should focus here, not down there, typically here. So make sure that you wash it very well here. Um, I don't, do I soak it? I don't soak it that much, but I don't hurry in taking or washing it off with water. So yeah, I take my time. Maybe like, if I should estimate, maybe like 20 seconds or 30, just wash it like that. And yeah, that's, that's usually when I cleanse the area. When I need to, when I feel like I should cleanse the area. So both of them in the shower. This is usually when I pee. So yeah, this is usually when I pee. This is usually the two products I use when I'm in the shower. So yeah, so same process. You use this one first, wash it. The 30 seconds and then you move on to this then same procedure actually 
um, use this to clean this area. You could also go to like your inner thighs and everything. You could also use that for brightening that part. Make sure you just avoid this part and the inner parts because we don't want infections. We don't want to mess up the pH level of our area. Therefore, make sure you just focus on the outer parts. Okay, and whenever you're using these products, always focus on the skin outside. Okay, the skin outside. Because I don't want you guys to go and have infections because we don't do that here. We don't want that. Okay, all right, I'm just protecting you guys. Okay, so basically, that's it. It's very, very, very extremely simple, very cheap. I don't remember how much exactly I got these for but it's cheap you could find it in Watson's Mercury groceries I'm gonna get the big bottle it's kind of 200 no it's like 180 or something and then this one is I mean you could get this what much is this save up to 25 you guys could just get like the solos or the smaller ones if you're just trying it out you don't have to get this much immediately so yeah if you just want to try it out you get the smaller portions of these products to see if this combo is gonna work for you as well as it worked for me um, I wish I could show you guys a before and after photo but I can't I can't show you guys that um, but if you trust my word um, then you guys could check that out that's what I did to whiten my area you might be thinking how long would it take for me I think maximum two months then it returned to its normal skin tone um so hopefully you guys can achieve that if that's your goal as well um so yeah if you guys like this video if you found it helpful please give it a thumbs up if you're also waiting for the update on the killy killy cuento killy killy stories video i'm gonna try to do that i swear i also i have the soap already because um my plan is to follow up the video with the Kojic um, soap because I think I recommended using Kojic soap for your underarms but I haven't been able to do that I don't know why but I just haven't so I'm gonna try to follow up on that and update you guys as soon as possible that's the end of our video hope you guys found it helpful um, please do comment down below other questions you have if ever if you're curious I don't know just communicate with me down below if ever you need to hopefully hopefully it works for you and if ever you're trying to whiten your area down there i hope it works for you as quick and as great as it can hopefully um that's the end of my video i guess um please do follow me on my social media at lens Rosen everywhere and also subscribe since you're already here please do subscribe join the fam and also click the notification bell so whenever i post a new video you see it first and basically that's it see you guys in my next video take care stay safe and i'll see you guys in my next one bye bye